Big Ed. We all know him as the Goofy. Sure. I thought if I told you I was the same height, maybe I would have a chance. Has a neck condition. Jerk butt, who in his large head is a prize to all thin Asian women. I love Korean women. But what you didn't know is that Ed is a bodybuilder. Big Ed is a motivator. Hit the gym every day. Consistency is key. Big Ed is a relationship advisor. The best. Big Ed, relationship advice I can give to you two in the bedroom is this. I want you to return the favor. Ed is a nutritional king. <laughs> this is like the size of six burger. Just kidding. He sucks at all of it. Hi, welcome to the channel. We have had a lot of fat chick videos on this channel. And someone asked, you know, they said, I love all your content, but can we get some new topics like we used to? So today we're talking about fat guys. Just kidding. I mean, we are. But just in case you missed my announcement, this channel is going to be all fitness, fatness, health, mental health type commentary, because my analytics tell me that that's what the majority of this channel wants. Now for the ones that want something outside of those topics, I have a second channel, a secret channel, where I will talk about pretty much anything that I want. True crime, murder mysteries, as long as it's not too Murderous. You guys know how I am with death. Reality shows like Flavor of Love. I'm just jealous because all of my friends that know me tell me that I remind them of Beyonce. So you can all. Do it! Slap me, throwback. The possibilities are endless. So shh, don't tell anyone it is my secret channel. Only the special ones can subscribe. So head on over to Michelle McDaniel After Dark and you will know if you are special because if you hit the subscribe button, it will say subscribed. If not, I'm sorry to tell you, but your mom lied. You're not special. Big Ed. So many people have messaged me about how Liz and her whole weight gain situation ever since she got back with Big Ed. And yeah, she's definitely put on some weight. When they broke up, she lost like a lot of weight. And now that they're back together, she gained. She knows, people have told her, including Big Ed. Why do you call me fat? Why do you make me insecure? Big Ed has been extremely controlling, says that Liz is a lesbian when she talks to other women, does not like her hanging out with friends, but the only place that he will not bother her is when she's at the gym, getting that skinny Asian body that he said that he loves so much. Ah. The gym is the only time where there's no questions asked. I can be gone for three hours and I'm good. Mm. But anything else, like trying to have girl time is very like, well, who are you with? So you know what? Everyone's talking about the weight Liz put on, but I want to talk about the weight Big Ed has put back on. This isn't just to bash Big Ed on being obese because he's a horrible person. This video is to give advice to people who are on the everlasting roller coaster of losing weight and then gaining it back and bash Big Ed because he's a horrible person. So yes, Big Ed has been big since we have seen him on TV. He was quite fit back in the day in his younger years. As you can see, the neck condition wasn't very apparent because he didn't have so much body fat around the neck region. But that being said, during his time in the spotlight, he got obliterated, literally, on how fat he was. Especially during all the shirtless scenes 90 Day Fiance loved to show us. But then, by the grace of Boombod, he lost a lot of weight. Okay, it wasn't Boombod, obviously. But Big Ed was in the gym. He might need a little stepping stool. Do you know the Muffin Man? But he was there, lifting weights, sweating hard. Look at this post with his little knobby knees getting ready to leg press. Get off your ass. Get off your ass and start working out. Guys, he is not playing around. This is a lifestyle, or is it? Shortly after Big Ed's fitness king stage, those 25 pounds that he lost quickly came back as he talked about liking Asian yoga booties and eating chicken on his dead channel. I love Korean women. They're so beautiful. I want to go to Korea. Yes, the yoga booty comment was a quote. No, I'm not finding it again. He eats very loud. And he already nauseates me when I look at him. I don't want to also watch him eat and slap food all over his face while talking about what type of Asian he wants to bang. I want to go to Taiwan and Vietnam. Yeah, 
Of course you do, Mr. Humpty. Is that a fat joke? I'm not sure. I just don't like how he insults Liz, calls her fat, makes her insecure, and acts as if he has a body of a god. Just look at him trying to show Liz how he used to be able to run on the track. In pink Crocs. <laughs> And I, you, you would stand like this, but I can't even bend over, I'm so fat. Well, at least he calls himself fat. He still acts like he is a Greek god, but I'm glad he realizes he has a gut and he could fall over at any time because he could, especially wearing Crocs. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs. Damn it, someone wearing something I don't like really pisses me off. Go and you would just. Anyway, he ran for like 10 steps and was wiped out. That's enough. Sir, you are not equipped to tell anyone they need to get to the gym if you speed walk in Crocs that are in sports mode for 10 steps and about to pass out. You probably should focus on yourself. Okay, so I promised there would be some weight loss tips in this video. So why in this situation do I think from my brain and my personal subjective thoughts did Ed gain weight? So personally, I think Ed is a very narcissistic person. I know that word gets just thrown around all the time, but let me explain. It's my channel, my world, which which makes it true. Okay, but narcissistic people tend to do things to get noticed. The weight loss, even though people were very rude in his comment section and body shaming him from left to right, from up and down. There were still many people praising him, many news outlets and YouTubers talking about how <coughs> God, sorry, it hurts me so bad when it even sounds like I'm slightly praising. Big Ed. But there are many people covering Big Ed, lost weight, he's now a hunk. No one ever said that except for him. And possibly the ladies lying to him. Are some of you ladies in his inbox telling him he looks good? I know Liz is, but are, are, is there more? Because this man has some confidence that some of you women and men need in your life because I know you're a better person than Big Ed. There were a lot of people praising him. It got him some views, some eyes on him, some pats on the back. But when it flatlined, he said, well, what's next? And got back with Liz and then got fat while he was calling her fat and in his ex-girlfriend Rose, Ziz inbox. And then now he's saying he can't remember if he spoke to you. I didn't. That's not true. Because he already messaged me and I have um, a screenshot. Yeah, we're talking about that on my second channel, the secret one right now. And it is just amazing to see him squirm like a little munchkin right under the Wicked Witch of the West green thumb. He wouldn't even be able to be seen under that thumb because he's the shape of a thumb. Come on, keep up. Big Ed and Liz put on weight because they didn't make it a, you know the word, lifestyle type change. They made it so they each can prove to the world that they can lose weight, so they can get complimented by certain people. Liz more so because she wanted the approval of Ed and Ed has always telling her or always publicly saying that he likes thin Asian women. Why does she care so much? I don't know. Girl, you can get the thin part, but you are not going to get the Asian part. Okay, never mind. This Justin, Gwen Stefani is saying she's Japanese now. And you know what? Ollie London said that he identifies as Korean. So anything's possible in 2023. But knowing Ed, I feel like he likes his Asian women. I wanna to go to Taiwan and Vietnam. I've been to Japan, Tokyo, Tokyo. I love it, keto. Imported right from Asia. Both of these people didn't seem to be looking to make a lifestyle change slowly and progress, you know, slowly over time. These individuals seemed like they wanted what most people wanted, fast weight loss. And then they got together. They did things like marathons, which is tons of cardio. People who wanna lose weight fast seem to either do a lot of cardio on their own or sign themselves up for a good old marathon because they heard that Susan down the street did a marathon and Susan is skinny. So then they do it too. People that I see who do this lose Lose weight, but then they can't keep up with that level of training. They never focus on having healthy portion sizes. They most likely paired it with a crash type diet and really lowered their calories to a very unhealthy amount. Wow, what's your secret, Gretchen? I went on the skin deep diet. You can only eat fruits and vegetable skins and the weight just fell right off. Hmm. They took weight loss supplements. Both of them did that. They both promoted weight loss supplements. I don't know if they took it, but just being in bodybuilding, a lot of people to help them lose weight and help them with their appetite, they will overdo the caffeine. And also uh, D-R-U-G-S. That's a big one. No. I'm going on that diet, Bob. And when I'm done, I'm gonna look like Gretchen's skinny sister. Gretchen's sister is skinny, Lynn, but it's because she's on methamphetamine. And like I said, all of that is very hard to stick to, especially when you are doing it for someone else. 
else. And that someone is a little munchkin man thumb that doesn't even seem to really like you or be attracted to you in the first place. So eventually that motivation burns out. They, they burn out themselves. They reduce their activity. They increase their calories. The weight comes back as quick or if not quicker than it was taken off. And then they're in this very frustrating situation. And that's why Big Ed and Liz gain the weight back. And I personally don't see them getting off the everlasting roller coaster of gaining and then losing weight, but hopefully they will. And when I say they will, I mean, I hope Liz gets off. I don't give a what happens to Ed. He can stay fat as hell. I don't care. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you would like another video, we have another Big Ed video on my second secret channel. Like I said, don't tell anyone. It's only for you. So I will see you guys over there hopefully, but I will also see you on this channel next time. Bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Little, poquito. <laughs> <laughs> you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't